And everybody, and welcome back to Ruby Reviews. We are officially in episode number six, The Long Awaited Return. Today, we are going to be reviewing, bam, series one of the Pop-Up Parade Ruby figures. Uh, this is gonna be really exciting for me because I have yet to open these, uh, hence why they're still in their boxes. Uh, we are going to jump into all of the fun shenanigans around these things and give you all the fun details about if you are looking to buy them and we're actually going to open these. So let's jump into it. So starting off with the pricing for each figure, Ruby is coming in at $37 currently. Weiss is also $37. Blake also falls into the $37 category, and Yang comes in at $38. Uh, shipping and taxes are roughly $10 to $11 each, so each figure ran me roughly about $50 out the door. Uh, if you have these currently and you are looking into flipping them, they sell for about the same price that they sell for online, which is about $50. So. Uh, some I've seen in terms of like on their own, uh, I think I saw Ruby sell for a hundred, but, uh, it was still sealed, uh, hadn't been opened, uh, probably came to directly from the Japan factory, if I remember correctly. Uh, but again, uh, you know, if it's your item that you're selling, just take that into consideration. And if you tend to list things higher, they will usually take longer to sell. But if you're looking to make your money back or maybe a little bit over that, you probably could get that out of these. Other cool fun facts about these, they stand at about 17 to 18 centimeters, depending on the figure. And the Rooster Teeth store website did sell Ruby and Weiss at one point. Uh, there has not been any indication that they will sell Blake or Yang, but who knows, they could show up in the future. Keep your eyes peeled on the Rooster Teeth website. All right, starting off with Ruby Rose. So excited. I've been waiting a very long time to do this. Also, check out this awesome uh, Berserk. Uh, technically, it's a letter opener, but for this purpose, I'm going to use this. Um, so yeah, so comes in some very minimalistic packaging, uh, as you all have previously seen uh, from my lovely video shooting skills um, but I actually really like this packaging because uh, you can actually see what is inside and you don't really have to worry about um, damaging anything on the outside because it's all clear plastic um, and it's environmentally friendly because you can recycle the whole thing if you don't feel like keeping the box. Um, so just of note, uh, it looks like there's tape on both sides like normal and one piece of tape right here on the top. Uh, if I check my watch, it's just to make sure you all are getting to see the, all the angles. Um, and the lid just lifts up like so. And I'm going to set her on the bottom so we can pull her out. Alright. And the other thing I like is that they have the symbol for each of the characters in the back of the packaging, which hopefully you can all see that right there. And in the bottom, it looks like there are some instructions in English and Japanese. Very cool. All right, cool. It looks like there is a groove for her actual weapon, and this weapon actually pieces together very similarly to the McFarlane version of this. And there's a really cool pop-up parade at the bottom with the Ruby logo. I do like this color scheme and all of the different, like, this, this packaging compared to the McFarlane version is uh, very geometrically pleasing. I like it. All right, moving on to the meat and bones of this character over here. This is really cool. All right, so it looks like there's more tape on the top. Just slice through this. Ah, success. Uh, I 
believe. A little bit of tape on the bottom. Uh, this is what comes out, by the way. So she's a little bit, everything's plastic wrapped, it looks like. And the base stand, which she will actually stand on. Ah, okay. Now we're working. It looks like there's only one piece. Oh, no, I lied. There's one. I just can't see tape. It's fine. <laughs> All right. That, that. Ah, there we go. All right. Oh, and there's one more piece of tape on the side. So in total, it looks like there was two or three pieces of tape actually holding the two plastic pieces together. And then she just comes out like so. Yeah, right off the bat, I can just tell she is way more, um, she is definitely a much sturdier plastic than the McFarland version. Does her head move? No, nothing moves. She is solid. Also, look at the pegs on her feet. That is some solid pegs. Uh, those are definitely not gonna break. Fingers crossed, you'll find out. All right, so I'm going to undo the face next. All right. There is a look at the base. And, let's see, all right. and there is another, more tape, more tape. Right. One piece of tape there, two. Right. Two pieces. All right, and there are two pieces of tape on the back enclosure, three pieces of tape. <laughs> They're really good securing this stuff. get it. There we go. Three pieces of tape holding the weapon enclosure. Alright, pops out of a little mold. Well, if I can get this one, that'd be great. Oh, there we go. There's tape and everything. Alright. Sweet. Well, and I'm dropping stuff. Cool, bottom piece of Crescent Rose. All right, so I am going to put this. Anybody else like to put their plastic like back in the packaging in case they decide to repackage it later? Or just me? Let me know in the comments below. All right, so that is there. All pretty self-explanatory. That number and yeah, I'm going to pop this back in the packaging for the time being. Because I would actually like to display these outside of the box. Alright, that slid back in there very well. Hmm, okay, cool. Alright, so let's see what we are up against here. So it looks like she just pops straight into there. Okay, cool. So I just literally popped her in. No alternate poses as far as I can tell. And I'm going to pop this piece together in here. Let's see, I'm gonna assume... Nope, this one. Let's check the directions. All right, so it looks like these jagged pieces right here with the little red need to be facing down or the same direction as the... Oh yeah, wow, that is snug. All right, cool. So... Ah, okay. There we go, okay. So you just have to lift her hand up a little bit and kind of prop it into that. And now moving right along to Weiss, round two, always better than round one. Hopefully I will do this one a little bit quicker. All right, so. 
Mm. All right, so this one's also got three pieces of tape on the top. Just pop these open. Thought about it. Normally I try and open these things from the bottom. Sometimes the, the top part warps. But I think for these, we're just gonna go for it. All right, same MO as the previous one, directions at the bottom, and also a very cool pop-up parade logo with the Weiss Schnee symbol on the bottom. All right, so it looks like for her, oh, cool. All right, so this one's fairly easy. Here are her instructions. Hopefully you all can see that pretty easily. This one actually goes together the same way that the McFarlane version of Weiss's uh, sword goes in her arm. So the sword breaks apart into two pieces and you slide them together in her hand, which is very helpful for me because uh, I already know how to do that. <laughs> all right, so moving right along, I'm gonna move you over here. Same thing, hunting for the tape. Mm. Ah, there you go. Only downside with clear tape and clear packaging. You never know where the tape might be. All right, oh, her sword is popping out. Oh, and this one is already put together. Cool. There's, I think it's, mm, I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce it because I feel like I butchered it in one of my videos. I'm gonna get there though. Whoa, hello. Luckily, these figures so far feel very sturdy. So I am not worried about these breaking as easily as the others, but we're not gonna test that for you. Oh, cool. All right, so very uh, plastic conscious. All her individual pieces were wrapped, which is interesting. Along with the base. Alright, seal that up. Okay, her plastic pieces. Put these lovelies. I get to see my lovely package handling skills. Alright, cool. know how to do that. I'm actually going to remember to put this in the bottom first. <laughs> so I don't know if I mentioned it already, but I actually pre-ordered all of these as they were originally coming out. So that was really cool uh, to finally be opening these. It's been many, many months. Like Weiss, I think originally came out during the like when we were still having to wear masks in those places. And I pre-ordered Blake and Man forever and a day ago. Alright. Only downside with this one was the packaging didn't really fit great. Well I just chose not to stick it in the center. Come on. Alright. Sweet. Right, set you there momentarily. Alright. Here's the base. Here's her pegs. These pegs are great. Okay. She feels very firm in there. All right, so that was pretty easy. These just pull apart like so. And then I'm going to stick her weapon in her hand. And voila. Hmm. There we go. Two down, two to go. Why schnee, everybody. A very dancer-esque pose. And now we are jumping into Blake. So she was actually already opened, um, which not by me. Uh, I actually 
found her at one of my local video game stores. So, show, so cannot talk. Shout out to the destination for this find. Uh, same MO. Clear packaging, symbol at the bottom. You all know what we're up against right about now, so we're gonna speed this process up. And uh, they had actually opened her and put her on display. And my original copy of her, which it had pre-ordered, uh, they kept canceling it on me. I got tired of getting canceled on. So I just went ahead and bought it from them because they had it listed for pretty much the same price as if I were to wait for my pre-order and I could not wait because I was like, I'm gonna support a local business and get a figure I'm looking for. She is a very, she's by far already had her weapons installed. I love her whips from Gamble Shroud. Ugh, so cool. But she is just very easily done. One, one peg. Uh, and so far, very thrilled with how sturdy uh, these figures feel. And last but not least, we have Yang. Fashionably late, as always, but ready to join the party. All right. And interesting fun fact, she actually has the least amount of packaging of the three girls. Ruby had the most, usually because her scythe takes up the most room. Uh, and Yang obviously has just gloves. So one piece of tape. Yep, pretty standard. All right, so they all have at least three pieces of tape, one on each side. And I really like that their package, their, uh, not their packaging, their base that they actually sit on uh, is all semi-transparent. So that is really cool. All right, that's that. All right, and Yang, much like Blake, is a one. All right, one peg. And there we go. Pretty self-explanatory. It looks like they didn't even include directions for Blake and Yang because they were so self-explanatory. But I am not complaining, less of a footprint. All right, now if I can just get this back in and we will show you all of them in their glory. And here they are officially all out of their box with a little bit of mixing it up. I love that their bases are hexagons. This is a great way you can customize them. It does look like they are in a bit of a parade uh, if you wanted to do them in a straight line. Uh, also, check it out. My nails match. <laughs> um, yeah, so highly recommend these. Uh, I love how sturdy they feel. Um, size comparison, I actually put a McFarlane figure next to these. These are much larger and way more noticeable uh, in terms of you could actually put these on a shelf uh, and there is a significant difference in terms of size. Not that these aren't a bad alternative, but they're just bigger and they, they look awesome. High, high detail, super affordable, uh, 10 out of 10 rubies and wise for me. Uh, I highly recommend these. Let me know in the comments below your all's thoughts and impressions of these. Let's jump into the wrap up. And just to wrap things up, I hope you all found today's video entertaining and exciting. Uh, if you all did enjoy the video, please feel free to leave a like and or a comment below. Let me know if you all are planning on buying these anytime soon. Uh, just to kind of go back over things, they are super affordable. Uh, all of them except Weiss at the time of the recording of this video 
are currently on the website. For, as soon as that changes, you know, if her link comes back up, I will change the description below. Check out the description below, A, for the uh, all of the links for these in case you are in the market for them. Uh, and on the flip side, I've got a link to the next series uh, that they are doing, which they are doing the Ice Queendom figures. Uh, I will put uh, all of the variations at uh, right after this, so you will see Lucid Dream Ruby at some point, probably right next to me right about now, and you will also see Nightmare or Negative Weiss, which she's been great. Also, if anybody has been watching Ice Queendom, you gotta let me know what you think. So far, I'm loving it. Uh, the Black Rock Shooter reference in it at the very beginning of episode one was great. Absolutely loved it. Um, and also, uh, let me know what has been your favorite part compared to if you've seen the original and you've seen Ice Queendom right now, what are you enjoying about this one compared to the original? And also, they're doing Lucid Dream Blake and Lucid Dream Yang. So I've got quick little thumbnails for those that you all probably just saw. And I will leave a link to the actual YouTubers uh, video where he, you can actually see their footage. And shout out to them because they were the only person that I could actually find who had video footage uh, that I could use in terms of thumbnails. So uh, check out their channel, subscribe to them for more because I'm sure they go to many different cons uh, just based off of their YouTube channel. Go support them, support all your local YouTubers, go subscribe, comment, uh, let them know that I sent you there. And yeah, we will see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.